Hi everyone, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com and I want to talk to you about some home automation things today. And uh, this is the automation system that I'm running in my house right now and I want to go through and just give a quick explanation of what these things do and um, how they work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start in the first box here and um, get this guy opened up. I'll open all these guys back here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn those lights back on. Everything works on a timer. Uh, pretty much at this house, it's not pretty much about turning things on. It is, but it's more about turning things off than on. So everything runs on a timer. Like um, we're here standing in my garage, and when you open the door and the door is closed and there's no light on here, the light comes on for five minutes. Uh, each time the motion sensor gets tripped, it resets that five minutes. And so if you forget and just leave, it'll automatically turn off after five minutes. And same thing with these lights is about three minutes. So um, this is the main controller board here. This is an Omni. Um, uh, an Omni Pro 2E and uh, the wiring diagram and some serial stuff. Uh, these are all the zones in my house, the doors and windows and motions and smokes and, and all that fun stuff. And these are just, uh, these are also zones. Um, so there's 48 zones uh, inputs on this guy. This has eight outputs for relays, actually seven, uh, which go to relays here, which do different various things. Um, this is power here for the CCFLs up in these cans to make them look pretty. And then this is um, power for uh, LEDs I have on the other end of these relays that I'll show you sometime. Power for the board. This guy right here is, uh, this is an interface module for, it's a UPBPAM for Universal Power Line module. Um, uh, this interfaces serial commands here out of the serial port to the 110 line and all my switches are automated in this house. Everything everything is on an automated switch and this is how uh, this talks to the switches and when you go turn on or off the light uh, the switches talk to this and you can do other cool things. With I'll do a whole video on lighting because that's that gets involved. So that's pretty much this can right here. Um, these are just some different serial, these are all serial ports, one, two, three, four, five. You have an ethernet port and then you have an old school X10 uh, lighting jack if you want to use that. There's also over here, there's a voice module. Uh, you can do two-way uh, voice in and out of the house over telephone, and you can also get it to talk to you uh, via just a regular speaker and then microphone, which is, uh, which is here, which is hooked up as well. So that pretty much covers that um, backup battery for this guy um, for that board. So if we move on to the next board, the next can here. Um, this is power. Power is always messy, especially when you're me and you're constantly changing things uh, for the system and something new comes out so you put it in here so this is a little bit messy. I'm actually working on a solution to come up with another one of these cans maybe below here for uh, low voltage power and backing all that up and having a neat solution for that so let's start at the top here. Um, these guys here are intercom stations. Uh, the yellow is all intercom. Uh, orange is audio. So I have in the house I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stations of intercom. And these go to those intercom stations. Uh, nine, I think, actually. And then also my front door. Now, we've been standing still for a while, so uh, follow me over here, Jace. And then I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to walk under this motion detector here. And then you'll see the lights ramp up because now there's motion in the garage. We've been standing over there for that time, so we elapsed, and that's why the light went off. Um, so back to here. This is basically audio. Uh, I have eight zone four source audio system. Uh, I have an intercom system over here that also has the doorbell. Uh, the intercom system here has an interface with the audio system. And so if someone has a music on really loud and you hit the doorbell, uh, it'll shut off all the music and you hear the doorbell ring. The doorbell rings to the individual intercom speakers, which you can mute. And then also too, if someone uses the intercom and they have the music, it kills all the music in the house for about 10 seconds until, until you're after you're done talking. And so uh, we move down here. Uh, actually, let's move down here. I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, video. Uh, there's four cameras. And these are the camera feeds for those cameras. And those cameras go out here and down to this guy here, uh, which is a video hub. Um, this guy, there's touch screens in the house. This guy is the hub for the touch screens uh, for the automation system. Just in a nutshell, automation is security, lighting, audio, video, uh, 
outside access, all wrapped up in one thing. Uh, old school ways of doing it where you had a lighting panel, then you had a security panel, then you had, this is all done on one system, so it's, it really cleans things up and it's, uh, it makes it easy for things to interface with each other because it's all being run by the same controller. So, um, This is a video encoder for, the, for this guy. So the video goes in here, and uh, actually these two guys here modulate video signal for the cameras, and it shoots it out, and I'll show you where it goes in a minute. So uh, this powers uh, touch screens in the house. I have three of them, and then uh, also keypads. I have a keypad down here, but this, this works that magic there and provides power. This here is my LED controller. So I have LEDs that I'll show you inside in just a minute, and uh, this is the LED uh, this is the wire to the LEDs themselves, and then uh, over here on the side, you can see uh, there's a serial interface. Um, and this wire goes up and it goes over, jumps over to this can, and that's this wire right here. So it's just plugged into the serial port right here. That's, that's just what that does. Um, and then this controls the LEDs, which I'll show you in a minute. So moving from this can, uh, this video jumps out this way. And it gets injected into here. Uh, this is a cable amplifier for all the uh, all the television sets. Uh, this is a smart amplifier. It knows the length of the cable and amplifies accordingly. Um, and this notches out in cable the channels that those modulators use, and so there's a space for them. So you're not trying to overwrite everything. Uh, this is really messy in here, but this is your all phone jacks in the house. Uh, only a few are populated because I'm not a big phone person. Um, this is the phone module where the phone is. Uh, this is a RJ31X jack which gives my automation panel the authority to seize the phone line and also do stuff like telephone access from outside. You can call into the house and say, you know, call and hang up and then call again within 60 seconds, you know, after 10 seconds, and it'll, uh, it'll pick up and enter a code and you can control it. Or you can pick, simply pick up a phone from anywhere from in the house and hit pound, and it'll talk to you and say, welcome to Omni, you know, what would you like to do, and yada, 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 and so it goes from there. Uh, going back over here, uh, these are all the network jacks. These are just switches and your router and your cable modem and your, your VoIP. So that's, uh, that pretty much wraps that up in a nutshell. So this is pretty much, uh, in a nutshell, what kind of automation system I have in my house. My main interface as far as the hardware that I make and the open source stuff is through serial ports. Um, this will listen for serial strings and how you program it is say, if you hear this string, then do X, Y, Z. And so there's uh, the serial ports here. This is going to my Denon receiver that does cool things uh, when you sit down to watch a movie. And then, uh, again, this is the Ethernet jack. That's for Internet access outside and inside the home. And so that's pretty much it. You can do closed contact stuff. And uh, I'm going to, in the future, do a um, some stuff where I can uh, interface some zones with some, some open source hardware. And uh, I'll probably be expanding on this guy here, too. Also, just out there in the very in the distant future, I'd like to take a BeagleBone and eventually replace this and maybe see if I can get a BeagleBone to run this kind of software and see the interface I can come up with it. So that pretty much wraps that up. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, uh, we're now inside the house and uh, this is my bedroom here. We have this little area that's very dark and there's no light up here. And so I put these LEDs in here. Um, if you come in here and, and take a look at these, this is a 12 volt LED strip. And so I had it and then um, I had it on a relay, but it's very, very cheesy. It just snaps on and snaps off, so it doesn't kind of match the rest of the house. So uh, from here, I can take my software, and I can just say I want the niche at 40%, and then what will happen is now I get a nice even ramping for that. But even more valuable that is the fact that um, it's hooked to an automation system. And so uh, one thing about automation system is, is people get the wrong ideas in their heads about them. You know, they'll walk in the room and say lights on and the lights come on. And a good automation system is the one that you totally and completely forget that you have, and uh, it works for you. Uh, for instance, like um, at night when the house is armed, all the lights are off. If I open this door to go check on one of the kids, uh, there's sensors in all the doors. So the door opens and immediately. This light goes on to 10%, so I can light the way in case you know my kids leave any toys. You know I won't trip over them and you know and do stuff like that. And at dusk, it automatically goes to 40%. Uh, at dawn, it automatically shuts off. So. Uh, that's kind of the point behind this is controlling these guys uh, all throughout the house. This one's uh, white um, and there's different. Uh, we'll do a RGB a little bit later, but uh, there's lots of there's lots of stuff and you, you can uh, you can totally control the output of these guys through that via buttons, uh, via software for automation, or different events. You know, like a door opening or motion. You know, here in the living room, will automatically turn this guy on. So. 
that's pretty much uh, that in a nutshell. Thanks. Hi guys, this is the intercom and audio units. Um, this is intercom in every room. This is in every room. This is the master in the kitchen here, so this has a few more. Uh, this has LED indicators of the status. Um, red, yellow, and green, depending on if they're muted or monitored or someone's talking in that room. And then this is uh, this is different audio for um, for all the rooms here. So we'll turn it off here. And then if we go over here, uh, these are the touch screens here uh, that are uh, running off that touch screen hub out in the garage. And so uh, if you see here, um, we have basically like a status readout, an outside temperature. Um, what's going on here? My wife's over there in the kitchen moving around, so that's uh, that's going there. It's telling you that the motion uh, sensor is tripped. Um, and then we can go to control, and then we can go to main living. Uh, these are sectioned out into rooms, and then if you go to the room, uh, you can do different scenes in the room. Um, you can turn uh, you can turn the entire room off or the entire room on, as you can see, probably a little bit in the video that does the entire main living section. Or you can go to individual. Uh, lights and say um, go to the kitchen recess and uh, you can do uh, dim it down or brighten it up or um, you can go to level 53% or whatever you want to do so it's pretty flexible with actual lighting um, turn it back on and so that's uh, that's pretty much lighting in a, nut in, in a nutshell you can hit the config uh, in the set to actually program the switches uh, which are pretty neat. I'll do a separate video on lighting because it's, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, your basic security, uh, your alarm keypad, you can click buttons for you know night away and vacation and, uh, and disarm and stuff like that. Um, buttons are macros. This is what the magic is all about. Um, for example, if I hit go to bed, um, I do this every night. I hit one button and it turns, takes care of all the lighting in the house, takes care of all the fans, takes care of the HVAC, um, it, it puts certain timers outside and certain modes for detection outside and lighting. Uh, re really, really good stuff. But of course, everything is rolled into macros, so it's just one thing. You can even run macros inside of macros, so it's really, uh, really convenient for programming as well. Um, temperature is humidity sensors and temperature sensors all throughout. Um, master bath humidity. This is um, handy because all my fans are controlled by these switches. So my bathroom fans, when you take a shower, when the humidity level raises, uh, the fan automatically comes on and it stays on until the room has a reasonable humidity level so you don't ever leave it and it's all, uh, it's all steamy and moist in there. So, so it really helps on the, the whole mold thing. And then of course too you have your thermostat, um, which is just a thermostat, heat, cool, mode, basic thermostat stuff. Um, your status is just pretty much the status of your house. Uh, this system has a clock in it, um, astronomical clock. It knows the sunrise and sunset by your latitude and longitude. Um, you can go through the status of all the zones and everything else, but it's um, that's pretty pretty standard stuff here. So um, your system is how you get into the tools. Uh, there's uh, voice memos and set up a message system and stuff like that. And you can also look at the events um, of so no one breaks into my house. And then uh, you can see uh, all the event logs, 250 events, uh, the last events that have been logged. Um, and there's video. So um, this right now is my back porch. And you can do cool things. This is camera two. If I hold down two, I have this program to just toggle whatever lights out there. Um, so that turns on the light. I can do it again and it'll toggle it back off. Um, I can switch here to my front door here and then uh, I can't remember if I have this one programmed or not. I think I do. Yeah, you can see that the light ramps up there and, um, and that's my front porch here. So, uh, and then audio controls the audio, which is actually a different audio system than this. Um, Back to the video. The video is cool because since the automation system controls the cameras and the touchscreens, uh, I have a touchscreen by my front door. I'm in the kitchen now, and uh, I can say when there's motion outside in the driveway, put the camera one, you know, the front door on this screen here, so my wife just can look over and see that, you know, this is what's going on at the front door. But do not put it on the front door because I don't know. I don't want the person there knowing that he or she is on camera. So. Um, you can do some pretty neat stuff with it, but this is basically the touchscreen interface in a nutshell, uh, the basic GUI of the whole automation system.
Hi guys, I want to show you just a basic bank of light switches here. Um, this is my front of my house here. This is uh, the porch light and the entry light where I'm standing here and coach lights and floodlights. And these switches are pretty neat. Um, they're, all, they're all controllable by the automation system. Uh, they always have the what I call the thumb override here so we can always uh, just take a thumb and, and change values on these like that. Uh, you can see they all ramp, uh, which is uh, two good things. Number one, um, it's cool. And number two, uh, it really saves life on light bulbs. Um, uh, you can push and hold and go, and go down. Um, it'll stop wherever you want. Uh, but the really cool thing about this is that uh, you can do certain things and I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, what you can do is go ahead and uh, you can program the switch to do different things when you single or double click them. So this is uh, the porch light and it's on and I can turn this off. Uh, my porch light turns off and I can turn it on uh, and it turns on. If I double click it, that's a whole different ball game. So let me double click this. And now my house is arming. I'm going to disarm this here. And so there's different macros you can do even with the switches. Um, so what you can do is just double click this and then leave instead of you know going to the keypad and doing security so anything to make uh, life easier uh, it's it's actually very very cool to do that and there's a lot of these switches I have set up in my house to do um, to do different things and uh, I'll show you one in just a second hey guys this is my living room here and you see I have a switch on the wall and then right next to this here is a lamp um, and if you look on the ceiling I have recessed cans and that's what this switch goes to. If I click this switch um, up, my cans turn on, which makes it brighter, and then if I click it off, uh, the cans go dark. Now this lamp um, is controlled into, or is plugged into a lamp control module down there. And so what, what I program this thing to do is if I, um, if I double click up or down, it turns the lamp on or off. If I single click, it turns the big lights on or off. And so, um, with everything off, what I can do, um, like I can double click that off and then the lamp turns off. Uh, I can single click this on and the, the ceiling lights come on. If I double click it, uh, the lamp turns on. Uh, so that's one way of using one switch to control two totally separate loads uh, like that. I don't have this lamp set up for dimming because we run a CCFL in there, so... Uh, or a, I'm sorry, a CFL, <laughs> uh, compact fluorescent, not cold cathode. So anyway, uh, the light switches are very flexible, very, very cool like that. And the light switches are two-way communication. Um, they go, uh, they talk to the controller and tell them what they just did as well as listen. So it's, as well as having the automation system talk to the switch, uh, when you, you know, when you do this down like this, now this will send a message to the controller saying, hey, just FYI, the living room lights are at, you know, I don't know, 73% or whatever they're at. And so when you go pull it up on the touch screen, uh, you'll see the exact level that the lights are always at. So it's constant communication there, so it works, works pretty good.